Hello, my name is Katarina, and just before the presentation, I would like to say that I'm 24 and I'm employed. I'm a teacher at this school. So, ladies and gentlemen, I will speak on the behalf of, of our headmaster uh, of our school. History of our school is bounded to the technical development uh, in Trompahi. Uh, says Trompahi is the company which uh, found is uh, for 65 years in Trompahi and in, it employs a lot of people there. And uh, this company uh, built the school nearly 60 years ago, but it wasn't the founder of the school. The founder of the school was Kroshitsa self-governing region. The school has uh, undergone several stages of development since uh, its establishment. The most recent stage uh, of uh, form of school has started in 2005. This year is very significant uh, because of a new legal arrangement and change of management system of school. Uh, primary founder, as I said, Kroshitsa self governing region. Um, needed the change because their situation was very bad of schools and um, because of economic and financial development of or I can say crisis uh, the school uh, had come from Ses uh, and the Ses became the new founder of the school since 2005. Uh, this company Ses continues in the development of history of electrotechnical production in Trompehi. And then uh, private high vocational schools as Trompehi came into existence. This is the new title of the school. And the decision was made according to the labor market needs. In this time, legislative frameworks of existence of private high schools were just being prepared, so there were not specified conditions of existence of our school. It is needed to say that the decision from 2005 was right and the experience we have can be motivating for other schools. Um, there's something about our school. Currently, uh, the school provides teaching in um, many branch. For example, this is four-year study in branch, mechanic electrician and mechanic of computer networks and also marketing manager. We have uh, some three-year training branch a high current electrical service technician and waiter and cook, and two-year training branch, production engineering and practical woman, but also two-year up study branch, it is uh, electrical engineering and public catering. And the overall number of students today is just 241. In, um, before 2005, it was around 500. So when our Kushitsa self government region wanted to cancel our school, uh, we, we would have a problem. Or there was no school to connect to, because there was connection of schools in that time. So we are such happy that uh, Ses Krampahi was um, right, and we are under this company. Our school is uh, connected on concrete needs in electrotechnical production um, and business of founder and other business companies uh, in the East region of Slovak Republic. Uh, the business environment in 1980s has applied a quality management system. The founder, says Trompahi, is the holder of the certificate and experience and since 2005 he introduced it into the organization and planning of the school. Students, our students have um, practical training in these companies, especially in Sestrompahi, and they are supervised by qualified instructors. Founders experts can enter the preparation of school educational program, and they also have their place in the school board. Even though we are private school, students do not pay any fee. This is because of bad social situation in the East region of Slovak Republic, and this was also mentioned in a contract, <coughs> sorry, in um, with uh, company Sestrompahi in 2005. 
So our students do not pay because if they should pay, we would, wouldn't have any student. And they are also the best one are also paid for their work uh, at Sestrampahi. But this is not a big amount of money, it's such a pocket money. Uh, the graduates' uh, enforcement is still not sufficient just because of a uh, crisis mentioned. But uh, um, we try to specify the needs uh, by the cooperation with other business entities, by the expanding of courses, for example, international trade and logistics. Uh, here is a list of examples of advantages of, of decision from the 2005 that we are uh, private school. The most costly item in the managing of the school from 2005 and 2007 was the heating. It was the most costly item. Uh, um, the area of school was um, old, so it, that's why the uh, heating was the most costly item. And a founder decided to change the situation. And in a really short time, he prepared project documentation and um, he changed the large boiler to object boilers. And uh, from the boiler room, uh, by the several changes, there is wonderful training workroom where students uh, have practical training today. And also, um, replacement of windows and doors for plastic was very crucial in um, this cost. You can see some pictures of our school. Um, I can say that the most important that we are private school is that such changes needed. Financial resources, potential workers, but especially the speed of decision making. And I dare to say that Krushica self-governing region could not do that amount of work in such a short period of time. So that's happened just because we are a private school. It is well known that the progressive technologies of manufacturing uh, should be used as a didactic tool at school. And our school has immediate access to these technologies. Uh, it is up to teachers and trainers uh, how these options can be used in a teaching lesson or in educational process. Uh, these are pictures from practical training. And these examples show that the potential of funder from business uh, is beneficial to the school and motivating for graduates. At the end of my speech, this is also part of school. We have swimming pool and the large gymnasium. At the end of my speech, I would like also to mention some projects that um, we have participated since 2005. Before, um, there, were, there were not projects, just since we became a private school. For example, the Open School, Language Laboratory, InfoWork, Modern School, and uh, today we are in two projects in um, um, Leonardo da Vinci and um, Modern, Modern School, it's about education. Uh, the school is managing information of computer network, which is currently developing IT era necessary condition. The school has regular answers to IT technologies, teachers and trainers can uh, create electronic lessons and we use it and uh, project teaching. And this is also the result of superior guidance of our founder, Sestrom Pahi. So that's all. I want to thank you for your attention. In case, oh. mentioned it in your presentation, and I'm not sure about it. Um, practical, you know, the East, you know, the East region of Slovak Republic, we have a problem with um, Roma students. And this two-year training branch is uh, created just for them. So practical women, it means that they uh, learn at school how to... How to have to be a household 
to have a household, to spend ha money yeah, for the yeah. food, to cook, yeah. to make, to, to do all these. Yes, this fucking stuff. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you, but I did not understand one point. You uh, present private school, mm -hmm. but you say that uh, students should not pay. Do not have to. No, they do have not to, yes. Who is paying? So this is a really big problem. Uh, today the state is paying because we are not um, as private school as, we, um, as it sounds. You you yeah, you hear private school and you imagine school uniforms, really rich parents, and so we are not this kind of school. No. Who pays? State Who pays. pays. State. 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 You're right. It was public school. It is still public school, but it is um, its name is private school. It's really complicated. We are under the state, but the founder is a um, company, but uh, the, money, the money we get is from state. Thank you very much. We, had, we, we have very, or we had previously very similar system here in Hungary, because there were a lot of private schools, schools of foundations. And uh, those schools were uh, working uh, very well uh, because the state provided support for those students who, uh, whose parents or who were not able to pay for their uh, costs. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, uh, the government decided that uh, we don't need these kind of schools here in Hungary, so that's why uh, I was talking in past time, so. Okay, any more questions? Okay, so thank you very much.